Now to one of the world's greatest aviation mysteries. Today marks four years since Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared while flying between Malaysia and China. The 239 people who were on board are presumed dead, and an American company is still scouring the waters looking for the wreckage. NBC's Tom Costello reports. In the vastness of the southern Indian Ocean, an all-out effort to solve the mystery of MH370. American company Ocean Infinity dropping eight autonomous drones in the water for round-the-clock operations. Malaysia has promised to pay Ocean Infinity up to $70 million if search teams find the plane within 90 days, not including downtime for refueling and resupply. 90 days of search operation, we will end up about... Uh, early June, middle June. This aviation mystery began on March 8, 2014. The Boeing 777 had disappeared on the red eye from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The last radio conversation at 1.19 a.m. between air traffic controllers and the cockpit seemed routine. Malaysian 370, contact search mean 120 decimal 9. Good night. Good night, Malaysia 370. But something soon went terribly wrong. Radar and satellite data suggest the plane suddenly made a U-turn, flew back over Malaysia, cut north, then apparently turned south, disappearing somewhere in the southern Indian Ocean. For four years, the families of the missing have demanded the government of Malaysia keep searching. We still really, really miss all of the people that we love. We still don't know what happened to them. In 2015, the first piece of MH370 debris, part of the wing, washed ashore on Reunion Island thousands of miles from the search zone. Then in 2016, American Blaine Allen Gibson found more debris even further west off the coast of Africa. It has no step on it, as is written on many aircraft wings. Today's new search area has been calculated by analyzing the drift patterns and satellite images from those few pieces that washed ashore. It uh, provides a capability to search a vast uh, part of the seafloor in a very short time period, and it's very efficient. That was Tom Costello with that report. The hope is that the black box recordings might still be salvageable and reveal something about the mystery of MH370.